Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We have the last news about uh, General Wings crash airplane accident. Yes, from the commission which investigates the case. So, they have now the last 30 minutes of audio file from the cockpit voice recorder. So, what really happened in the cockpit before the impact, moment of impact? And the prosecutor said that at the moment of the impact in the cockpit was only the co-pilot. And the story is like that. At the moment of flight, the pilot, the captain of the aircraft, decided to get to go out of the cockpit because maybe he should. He wants just to go to the restroom. And he just give controls to the to the co-pilot and the sound of the chairs going going back can be hard. So and the door closed. After this, in a couple uh, in this time when the pilot was out of the cockpit, the descent button was activated and the prosecutor said that this button cannot be activated automatically, only manually. So this means that co-pilot deliberately and voluntary sorry voluntary activated the descent button in a couple of seconds or maybe 30 seconds a minute the pilot which is captain of the aircraft tried to get back in the cockpit but from the co-pilot there was no answer the captain just said that it can be heard on the voice recorder the captain hardly tried to get back in the cockpit he uh, was uh, identified himself but the co-pilot did not answer did not respond what we know is that the co-pilot was alive because the sound of breathing can be heard on the recorder and which means that all this all the descent and the impact may be done by the co-pilot as an act of suicide or we don't know as an act of terrorism we don't know the investigators now are uh, looking to find out more information from the black boxes and when we will have them for sure you